so here we are in the stomach of a patient with uh, previously diagnosed neuroendocrine tumor. Uh, quick video on how to look at the stomach and the different morphologies of polyps you might find. Um, make no apology for making a lot of these movies because a lot of different appearances of the stomach and if you're going to get familiar with all of them then you need to spend a lot of time looking. So um, the first things first, this is what I'm doing here is not a particularly adequate examination of the stomach. You need to really look at each segment. You probably need to pour, wait for peristalsis, for example, because you see now a whole new bit of the antrum's opened up. You need to freeze the image. You need to have a good look with uh, just what you think. Then you need to think about the other areas. You need to look at the angulus. You need to pause and think. You need to take some photographs. Uh, you need to look in the body. You need to look up from the body, really, including the part from the incisura up. You need to pause and look. And then you need to expand the proximal stomach. Um, and, of course, we didn't even see that clip uh, before I started doing expansion. Um, this patient is highly sedated, so cannot be asked to hold the air or not, and probably has got a relatively incompetent uh, sphincter here, which is stopping... Uh, the air staying in, but okay, now we have a much better view than what we had before. Um, and now you can clearly see that clip, you can clearly see this here, so let's start talking about polyps, this in white light, and this in uh, LCI, and this in narrowband, uh, sorry, you know, in, L in BLI, narrowbands, or um, eye scan, being the other uh, modes of virtual chrome endoscopy. And here you have a um, clearly hyperplastic polyp. Why is it hyperplastic? It's completely regular, so Chris R, and it is entirely um, circumscribed, quite small, and the structure uh, is regular, and it's quite hyper um, vascular, um, and you see, therefore, that it's very, very brown against the background in BLI, and very red against the background in white light. So this is a hyperplastic polyp. You have here these small little uh, nodular things, uh, many of them around. You, see, you commonly see them in the atrophic stomach. Another little one here. Uh, they're pretty much everywhere uh, around, and maybe they are areas of fovea hyperplasia, uh, some other benign type appearances, which uh, does nothing much more than to alert you to the fact that this stomach is atrophic. Um, and then you have, um, if we go down into the antrum, you have uh, down here, uh, well, ignoring the resection type artifacts, which we'll come to in a minute. You have another relatively hyperplastic looking thing with a bit of surface fiber in here at the um, 11 o'clock. And here, uh, just down here, you have uh, what could be an erosion or what could be something else, maybe low-grade dysplasia um, in the uh, 4 o'clock of the image now. Uh, we can image that a little bit better with um, BLI. And if we just do a little bit of zoom, potentially, um, we can probably see that you have the really reg nice regular outer pattern. Um, and then you have regular at the kind of six o'clock of that uh, area. But there is a demarcation line with a bit of gland crowding uh, there in the uh, three o'clock of the image. And so this would be a target for biopsy for sure in this very atrophic stomach. If we just zoom out a bit, uh, the whole stomach, so this is BLI overview, the whole stomach is um, atrophic, areas of intestinal metaplasia, and um, if we look up, it's not just the antrum, it's also the whole uh, of the body um, and the corpus. So this stomach is highly atrophic. Uh, we have shown many other videos of how to take photos, I'm not going to cover that again here. The final thing I wanted to cover is the appearance of resection scars um, at, uh, in the stomach. So, so here is a scar right in the center of the image now. We'll stay in center is a little bit depressed, a little bit paler than the surrounding. There's lots of hypertrophic bunched up mucosa around this scar, and this is the site of a previous removal of a neuroendocrine tumor, uh, which was completely removed. But of course, um, the edges of this scar, this bunched up thing here, if you're not sure, then biopsy them. Um, I think that's the, the key message in the stomach. If you're not sure about anything, biopsy it. Again, the stomach has collapsed, but it's an interesting appearance up here on this um, on this roundabout this clip, because you do, and I think one of our other videos show you do get clip artifacts of the stomach, and it looks quite a lot like this. So it looks a bit like clip artifact in the stomach, um, and uh, sorry, in the colon, and that clip artifact is with a very regular, very uh, inflammatory, inflammatory, so quite open um, vascular pattern, 
um, and the appearance of a clip obviously helps you with the diagnosis and there was something uh, removed from here um, before. I wonder if we can find in here any more neuroendocrine tumors. Um, they do have a very characteristic appearance. I don't obviously see any right now. Um, but they are just a marker of the presence of um, atrophy. And so no, right now we don't see any. All right, uh, well, thanks for watching. I hope that's useful. Um, we'll make quite a few more of these videos of the stomach so that you kind of get an idea about how to grade the severity. I mean, it's finally worth saying that this stomach is high risk. Of course it is because it's globally affected by um, atrophy and um, intestinal metaplasia and therefore you must look carefully and you must look carefully for flat things and take a structured set of images. All right, thanks very much for watching.